Cottontail's new VTuber model. Now, Cottontail VA is an awesome creator. If you haven't, definitely check her out. She's got some really cool content. And I heard she had a new model recently. So one, going in completely blind, I thought we would take a look at this. And two, I thought we would also address how it's kind of weird when you're in the VTuber community to get a new model or design, especially if it's removed from the original design. So alas, I figured we take a look at this. I do like her design, though. It's very aesthetic. The art in this is great. Our village was burnt to ashes. We are hopeless. We need help for fear. We'll never recover. I like the scripting on this, actually. <laughs> Plague has ravaged our family and many others. We need more medicine for us to wait. Okay. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to swear much longer when there's coming. The sound effects felt a little off. I feel they could have maybe been leveled better. Like, friendly critique, not, like, negative, right? I feel that might have detracted from the intro a little bit. But overall, this is very aesthetically pleasing. So is this, is this Cottontail in the story, running from her duties and making a Faustian bargain? I dig it. There's a lot of really cool imagery here. I'm really liking it. Banui, it he. No, the scripting on this is great. I'm loving it. It's got a nice hook. I actually really like that we have the, the cutaways here, the cutaway quotes. I think this is very aesthetic. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Did, didn't expect to see you here. Heavenly jump scare, right? Nice. Banui. I will state, though, the eye wiggle hasn't quite grown on me yet. The iris wiggle, that's actually really tech in the VTuber industry as of right now, at the very least. Very, very tech. I, it just doesn't quite do it for me. And this is, this is an overarching thing. Like, it's an interesting design decision, and I like it. It shows quality. It has yet to grow on me, though. Welcome on in, darlings. Ah. Welcome, welcome on in. Oh my god. I have had to this hide is a, this for so This is a big departure. I'm actually quite for this. Oh, so long, darlings. Yeah, you like? Yeah, uh, you like? Yeah, I, I had a feeling you guys would like this. Nice. Yeah, I, I just had a sneaking suspicion. Anyways, check this shit out. Check, are you guys ready? You guys aren't fucking ready for this shit. You're not fucking ready for this shit, are you? Oh my god, 
Oh. I'm gonna be honest. I dig it actually. I think this is the natural progression from the vocabulary, vernacular, speech pattern, content. I think this works. So in the VTubers, and we saw this with old kit model versus new kit model, right? There are people that liked the old two, the old 3D cat model. There are people that do not like my new 2D, dra 2D dragon model. There are people that like my 2D dragon model. There are people that don't like my old 3D cat model, right? It, it's kind of a mixed camp. It's so different. And you run into this a lot. We've run into this with Girl DM, uh, changing models, right? You know, going from 3D to 2D uh, and even to another 2D model. And, you know, when you're in the VTuber sphere, what I'm trying to get across is, especially when you change designs, especially if it's removed from your original design, this will start to polarize people. It's not a bad thing chat you're absolutely right change is difficult to accept it can polarize a fan base and sometimes it's not done well there are some vtubers that will change their design and sometimes it just doesn't work sometimes it just doesn't work right and even then if a vtuber changes their design i mean you do have every right to say well the design doesn't this this i do not vibe with this design and you can just watch someone else i think however i think cottontail nails this I think that it's great. I think her uh, speech pattern makes this work. I think that the content that she puts up makes this work. Uh, the old model, I would feel, is a little more quirky, a little more bubbly. This is a little more personable, a little more rough, if you will. And I, I mean rough in a very positive way. I think this is great, actually. I think this is very, very good. Oh, my God. The Reborn merch drop. All right, check it. We have the Unchained hoodie. This we is kind of sick. Big Titty Goth GF t-shirt. Thought you'd enjoy that one, motherfuckers. I dig it. And then we have the Booba Mouse pad. We nice. have the acrylic charm. Oh, look how fucking cute it is. <gasps> and then we have the desk mat, which is also the starting... Son of a... I, I would bring that. If someone invited me over for Friday Night Magic at a house, I would bring that. So you have to understand, when I say someone invited me over for Friday Night Magic, I play Modern Tron. I'm that guy. Three plus, one plus one plus one equals seven. I'm that guy. I will drop Car and Liberated on board and make everyone have a bad day. I, I would show up. I, I would show up with this as a as a as a mat. I would. Don't show up with an LGS though. That's a little strange. That's why you have like Gecko's and Treya, which I have a Gecko's and Treya playmat. I have way too many playmats. Help, it's an addiction. Doom screen. Oh, what's that? You didn't catch that, did you? You maybe want to take a. Oh my fuck! And not only. Does what this did, hoodie come in what one? That word it say? comes in three colors. That's right. Aww, that's hot. <gasps> three colors. So look, we have pink and blue with the split hood, with the split fucking hoodie strings. I don't know what these are called. I don't Draw know. Strings. I used to chew on them when I was a kid. And then guess Dude, what? Dude, same. Oh my God. I chewed on those all the time. There's wings on the fucking back. That's, There's that's chains hot. on the sleeves. Look at the different colors of the little sleeve thingies. If you want to be Ariana Grande, you can put those halfway on your hand. And then we have gray. Yeah, this is for the, the ones who want a more cool, muted design. And then this is just for the edgy fucks that go to Hot Topic, AKA me, bitch. I'm going to be buying this one. God, I've been a Hot Topic in a hot minute. I need to go to Hot Topic. Yep, yeah, I go to Hot Topic. Don't worry about why I'm going to Hot Topic. Don't worry about why I'm going to Spencer's either. You don't need to know that. We also have a William Sonoma downstairs from the Hot Topic and the Spencers. I will go to William Sonoma though. I do like me some fine Japanese kitchen knives. Oh my, look at that. <gasps> this is my favorite. I fucking love this item. I don't, I'm gonna get everything. I'm gonna be getting everything. Amazing. Four to five months for delivery though. Hey, you know what's crazy? Your mom waited fucking- I, I, <laughs> Unchained hoodie pre-order, $69. Nice. I, I see what you did there. That's pretty nice. Nine months for you to be delivered, and yet you ended up being a disappointment. So I'm pretty sure you can wait for this. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much. Epic debut time. The wonderful rigging and art and design. Yes, that's right. Created this beautiful model. Come so here's the thing is that she has references to her original design, which I love. The uh the pink and blue, how they were very, you know, uh like bubblegum, cotton candy, right? Very vibrant. They're muted here. But there's homages to it in her design. She has that heterochromia going on, which are the deeper colors. She has the lighter colors in her rabbit ears, which are also reminiscent of her older design. 
I'm really liking the thought that went into this, actually. I'm super digging this. Amochiro did the art and design for this beautiful model. And then Inyo, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. Look at this fucking rigging. <gasps> oh, it is really good all. rigging. Oh, and that's not all. That's not all. <laughs> the twin tails. Yeah, that's right. You want some handlebars, baby? You want some handlebars? I got you covered. Don't Amazing. worry. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Look at the necklace. Look at the necklace. Look at the... Holy fuck, I'm coming. There are so <laughs> many details on this model. The wings having a different... So I will actually say, as somebody with... Uh, give me a second. As somebody with my own wings here, right? If you haven't seen the full kit model, grats, you're not going to see the full kit model. So rigging is one of those that's very strange because it can... Wings specific. Let's we'll start with the wings. Wings, as far as design-wise, are kind of hit or miss. Whereas, you know, you have mine, which are very fairly, you know, large. And so her her wings fit that that gothic fairy tale design. They're very thin, they're very lithe, and they're rigged in a way that helps encourage the imagination is the way i'm going to word it it's like if you look at a, a heartless from kingdom hearts right how the design actually uh it, it encourages you to like oh that is a scarf around the giga heartless right um or if you look at uh, uh there's a couple others that are escaping right now they're uh not they're not attached to the body i also kind of like that as well i'm it, th these are very very cool where mine right as you can see with mine right they are very much attached to the body also my wings are stiff mostly because i haven't really done anything with it i haven't had a need to really rig these in fact i guarantee you some people that watch me haven't even seen my my wings yet actually some people haven't even seen my tail yet which i love my thick ass tail it is actually dummy thick but like these wings that she has actually go pretty hard and i'm kind of digging that actually it's very unique it's kind of like uh kind of like when you see tails Certain tails are just done very, very well. But some, mm, some just go next level. Tails are also one of those that are very, very hard. I don't know if she has a tail. I'm very curious. But no, I wanted to take a second to appreciate the wings. They're very nightmarish is the word that comes to mind in terms of design logos. You have, uh, they're very lithe. They're very thin. You know, is it going to be like mine, right? Which flap, flap, I'm a dragon mof mofo, right? That kind of thing. No, it's very of the design, though. And it very well complements the overall new design. I just wanted to take a second to really kind of like admire that as a fellow like VTuber wing enthusiast. Flare shade on either side to represent the different yeah, cool. colors on my model, as you can tell. Yeah, uh-huh. We got different eye colors. We got different ear colors. Heather Chrome is very popular. I want to show you guys you. Look, you're going to be looking into me right now. What? Amazing. <gasps> that's you. Banui? That's a chat. That's you. That's right. We have a chat. Matt. That's you. Amazing. <gasps> oh my God. Look how cute you are. Look at that. And guess what? <gasps> oh, Amazing. I can hold two of you at the same time. That's right. I have many holes. These two are synced. Okay. I know how they did that. It might be the same asset interesting if you notice their their blinks are uh my curiosity actually is does her blinks blink with the models because if you actually look at narissa ravencroft's uh raven the bird it blinks when she blinks so sometimes they'll actually tie blinks to that i'm very curious what the artist did with this well, many many yep. hands many many holding places no they have, have their own holding. blinking Places. You guys promised to not be bad. So they might actually be their own separate assets then. Right? You little shits look ugly when you're mad. That's right. Amazing. What is that? Mad is not what they appear. What is that? I love it. Oh my god. That's what it's you perfect. look like underneath? If I knew that, I wouldn't have fucking... Anyways. You guys look great. Does he have balls? That's his fucking back leg, you Ama piece of shit. Amazing. You are insensitive. Boom. Yeah, he's got he's got legs and two, and two sets of arms. Was that not obvious? I'm. What what have I done with my life that that just is obvious to me? Wait, there's more chat, but wait. <gasps> Who's that, bro? That's right, tummy and thigh and hip Thick. lovers. I got something for you too. Eat up, Thick. bitch. You're welcome. You're fucking welcome. Where's pee pee? All right. Listen. <laughs> Enough of these questions. Enough of these fucking questions. It's not a. Not I'm. So I'm personally not a fan of that though.
like want like that that's a personal thing. Not a huge fan of like Sundere blood tropes. I definitely see how it sells though. And even though I'm not a fan of it, I have immense respect for it. I dig it. It was done very, very well. That's it that's to say, like, you know, like that's a personal preference kind of thing. It's like how I like I don't like gore, but I play Resident Evil in Dead Space like all the time. It's like, Kip, how does this make sense? And I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like suspension of disbelief or something like that. Not a huge fan of like murderous Sundari trope, but this is done very, very well, and I have absolute respect for it. Letter opener. It's a sternum opener. We're still misbehaving. We're still misbehaving. Fuck you. You're going in timeout. Fuck you. No, Baby yeah, jail. you're going in timeout. Bye. Oh, the irony of this. I got Titan twice in 14 Qs when I'm before I'm streaming this. I got Titan hard in leveling. And Titan extreme. Was it extreme? No, it wasn't extreme. Whatever. I got Titan in leveling and in trials today. I got baby jail twice. I don't, I don't want to go baby jail anymore. The sub and me are fighting, as you can tell. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, I played Gears of War 2. I mean, I Was, wasn't my thing. All right, well, it's fine. For the lore video, we had repos do the editing. Oh my god, he did fantastic. Alfredia worked so very hard on the art. The amazing art of the, the lore The art video. went hard. And Rudu helped me with the writing. I showed him a basic first draft, and he switched it up, and he made it so good. Did, did the fucking Rule 34 already get created? Is this a... Wait, is this an actual question? Mate, we had, like, over... What was it? Overwatch 2 was cracked in, like, 48 hours. Like, they're, they're on... Our 34 artists are on it. Like one of these one of these days I'm gonna catch an R34's artist eye. One of these days. Joke. What? Oh nice. my god. Sixteen and Mono worked on the music for the lore video, and Boshita Blasta worked on the sound effects. Music is the thing. The sound effects were good. I'm trying to like it wasn't bad. It was very good. I'm just trying to figure out I think it just didn't complement it right way or wasn't nor I don't know. Like, I have respect for it. Like, the sound did go together very well. That makes me cry the most. And so, when it gets... Untrue, Night of Wumbo. There have been two things that I found that there was no R34 of. And I'm damn proud to have found two things on the internet. To the fluffer parts. When it gets to the fluffer parts, where it shows my happiest memories. So, I'm not sure if you guys got that. The first one was Mama Tail. The second one was... Yeah, that's right, chat. The second one was you. Nice. That was me streaming and the impact the community of fluffers has had on my life, as well as my kitty cats. And the third one was my first and closest friends that I've made through VTubing. And we saw what was, I don't actually remember. This was what, Vexoria? That's heavenly. I watch way less VTubers than I think I do because I actually am blanking on these people. VTubing and with the music, the swell of the music, I was crying. I'll be honest, I was crying. I was sitting here and I was like, oh, the merch. Oh. oh, oh my God. Amazing. So the merch, the hoodie and the mock-ups. Mock-ups are the images of the products that are used for the merch store, are used for the advertising, are used right. for basically everything we're done by Freem. We love Freem. Thank you so much, Freem. I love her design, actually. Her design goes hard. This design also goes pretty hard. Akutoki did the charm, the beautiful charm, because I saw they did one for uh, Mata, and I really, really quite enjoyed it. Then we have Psyka Tattoo, who did the shirt and the mouse pad. That's right. Uh, she's so this is actually this is actually because I work in V in uh, VTube Studio. She zoomed in a little. What's the word I'm looking for? She's clipping up here, so that's the edge of her app. So if you go if we go back about five seconds, watch the tip of her ears. I quite enjoyed it. See how they're clipping? That's no different than if I do this, right? If I zoom in. Suddenly I'm clipping like this, right? I don't know. It's one of those weird things that I have an eye for. Like, I know exactly what's causing that. Also, it's kind of hard to gauge. It's like, because I'm leaned over right now a little bit, right? But if I, like, move, it gets a little strange. Just one of, I don't know. One of those weird things that caught my brain. And we have Psyka Tattoo, who did the shirt and the mouse pad. That's right. And you can see them here. So this is the charm. The mouse pad actually goes hard. The hoodie. The big tip. I have a Colin Kozuki one. That you can't, I don't even think you can find anymore. Pretty goth GF t shirt. 
and the mouse pad. Let's go. The starting soon, and the desk mat. We're both done by Sulia. Yeah, yeah, baby. You can get your sweaty palms and all of your loads of on this desk mat. It'll soak it right up. All right. Nice. Crunchy animations. Did uh. Washing it might, I, you have to actually figure out what kind of mat it is because different play mats have different washing requirements. The alerts. And I just want to say Crunchy Animations is my friend from choir. We actually Amazing. sang in Alberta's Youth Choir a while ago. Oh my God. No, she, that makes so much sense. Oh my God. Cottontail was a choir kid, wasn't she? Oh my God. Everything makes sense now. Okay. No, everything makes sense now. And Carry on. I quite enjoyed it. And... Crunchy just got a job at one of their favorite studios. Yeah, nice. that's right. What? The emotes were done by the lovely Ioma. Ioma, that's right. We got new emotes. Yeah, baby. Spam your fave in chat. We have the stream avatars, as you guys can see. Yeah, that's right. Benuis. You little fluffers. You little fluffers. That's you. That's you. Inyo worked so hard. They have so many different commands, which I haven't really set up yet, but it's fine. We'll figure it out soon. We have the BRB music. You guys heard it when uh, you were misbehaving again. We have chat mascot design. This has been in the works for, I say like Banui. half a year. I don't remember. I so I want you to just really quick, like understand like how excited she is for this and how much, how many artists she's collabed with to get all of this. Chat, how many of these do I not have? Like you could probably count. So this is actually why I describe VTubing as kind of an a proverbial arms race, if you will, because look at these emotes. These emotes are, are sublime. The notification, excellent. The whole trailer at the beginning, quite excellent, I will say. The scripting on that was amazing. I, thank you so much. We have the lovely Ari, who did the logo. And logo's great. Logo's good. Logo's awesome. Like, I really like the style of this logo schedule that's right chat we went official we are official we have a logo chat <gasps> fluffers we have a logo yes we have a new foogie which i might have accidentally leaked but totally on purpose leaked when i was on kamimi's stream anyways thank you so much to shinla minya we have the panels which i don't know if they're done down below because we didn't want to we didn't want to release anything before you right. guys saw the new model right but we got the panels done by the ever lovely tim we have the backgrounds we have the dungeon background done by cobra we have the castle background done by scragglebird and we have the just chatting background done by my i i don't have backgrounds you <laughs> know if you've never been out to a kip stream if this is like he, he watched me strictly on youtube right this is what i use <laughs> so i got my stinger right Cool. What do I have? I have a Final Fantasy 14 background. I don't know what region this is. I think this is in Stormblood. A lot. Like, like, you, like just put into like perspective how cool Cottontail VA is for this. Like straight up. Like backgrounds really go hard, especially if you have the right ones that complement your style. 100%. Uh, and that is the background you see behind the slides. That's the background you see behind when I remove the slides, as you can see, it does a cute little, it does a cute little bling, as you can, like, a, look at it. It does a cute little bling as it goes by. It's so cute. So yeah. understand that this is all marketing as well. This, all this is, and not to take away any like heart or soul of this, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of emotion into this. This is all just marketing. These are the artists who made these assets. This is what these are. You know, this is the background here. This is this background. We now have chat emotes. We had this trailer to hook your attention. Uh, this is the new design. These are features of the new. It's all. It all just comes down to mar effective marketing. You know, and how many how many people would look at this and go, "Oh, looks like uh, Seth W. Mad right made this specific made a specific portion of this." Oh, I might go reach out to them. It's as much a, a collaborative effort as it is a celebration of the creator. One hundred percent. The extra credits. Talents MSM really helped me out here. They created the website with the help of Seth fucking showed me everybody. Basically, he was like, oh yeah, Ori does logos. I was like, oh shit. He recommended so many people, so many fucking people that I could commission within MSM. That helped me out so much. They helped me out. I, I finally figured it out. out so fucking much. How, how her eyes work. When she, the larger she, the more she opens her eyes, the smaller the iris goes. The more she closes her eyes, the larger the iris gets. 
I had they to think really, about that for really a second. Just add a backbone to all of my little loosey goosey plans, and I'm so very grateful for them. And Lauris. Fuck Lauris. Anyways, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyways, I could have done this shit without them. Can we please get a round of applause? Oh, anyways, darling, we have a lot. We have a lot to show you. And I can't wait. I can't wait for you all to join us. Oh my god, thank you for being along for the ride for this debut stream. Mommy Cotton's gonna hop out now. Bye, darling. No, this is great. I like this. I really like this. I think the new design is perfect. It fits the direction she's wanting to go in. Many people are used to this design, right? One could liken it to a proverbial Playboy bunny or a bunny girl, right? Totally. And some of the content that I've seen, right? Her and Vexoria, right? I've totally seen some of those conversations uh, on some of their videos. And like, that made sense. I think if we're going in this direction, this kind of like Sundere, uh, goth mommy queen kind of vibe. Yeah, I think this makes a lot of sense. So the sad part about this and my experience comes into this in regards to whenever you change a model, whenever you change your design, there is unfortunately going to be a lot of backlash. There's going to be some critiques, if you will. Critiques are fine. You know, you're allowed to have your opinion and your critique. However, there's going to be, oh, well, I just like the old model better. The old model was was uh, technologically more superior, which whether that's the case or not, you know, so unfortunately, what the follow up you'll see, and you can probably watch this on Twitter and eat some popcorn. You'll probably see some people, unfortunately, hating on this new design. And that's normal for VTubing, unfortunately. So if you're planning on doing a VTuber, what my advice is is go in with your end product in mind or at least as close to it as you can right how i initially started off as a 3d cat model right 3d cat boy and i transitioned into a 2d shadow dragon right how it's so removed from that source material that there is contention on it and there's people that have said oh kip we would love to see you as a cat again uh you know uh, and you know i've heard wild claims as the old model was technologically better i i would contest that from a uh from a technological and feature standpoint but alas people are entitled to their opinions so if you are looking into vtubing if you are thinking about this or if you're just curious about looking at oh looking into the sphere of what trials and tribulations do you guys go through what uh what things do you guys experience that you know you'd like to share is something like this. I, I personally, I think this new design is great. I think everybody that worked on this did an amazing job. I think that uh, this came together very, very, very well. And I think the new design fits where Cottontail's going. The unfortunate part is that people aren't going to like change. They're not going to be acclimated to it. They aren't going to want that change. They're going to want the old Cottontail. And it's not to say that she doesn't still have the model. I'm sure she still has the model and can pop it out anytime she pleases. But understand that this is what she's wanting to do. She spent how much time and money and effort doing this. So I just ask, respect that. If you are against the new Cottontail VA uh, model for some reason, just please be respectful. Please be understanding. I actually think this is great. But alas, that is a, uh, yeah, kind of what uh, vtubers go through this was also an amazing debut i'm very excited for the new cottontail va model i think she just it, it goes really really hard a couple things that aren't my personal taste but once again i'm some dingus on the internet and note that i'm not like saying it's bad i'm saying this is very good there's things that i don't personally like that other people like there's things that other people love but i don't like do i necessarily make fun of someone because they like overwatch too no that kind of thing. But alas, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you liked this design. Let me know if you have any reservations about this design. Let me let me know if you'd like to see Kip as a cat again, I guess, because apparently that's a pop enough request. Um, please be civil about your comments, all that fun stuff, and see you all in the next one.